John Baptist Lafargue founded the Peabody Industrial School and helped black educators advance in the wake of the Civil War. Relatives Josie Abagov and her mother Kelly traveled to Alexandria from Los Angeles to assist a PBS documentary crew tell the story of Lafargue, Josie's great-great-uncle. As ABC 31 News showed you, historians had only recently found and unearthed his grave and those of his immediate family. These graves, I think, probably may have had no real visitors in 80 years. It's and it's time not only for them to be uncovered and brought to light through this documentary, but it's actually time also for a historical marker. The crew spent most of their time at Peabody High's homecoming celebrations, a school with strong ties to Lafarge. It was especially thrilling for Josie, who spent the last year and a half researching Lafarge's life. To be a descendant of J.B. Lafargue, he was such um, a change maker in this region and in this state, and I'm just so proud to be related to him and to be an ancestor of him and to, to continually uncover um, all of the incredible work that he did and all of the legacy that it had. The women met with Peabody Principal Dennis Stewart, who talked with them about the history of the school and what it was like in the 90s when he was a student. He says the interest in the school means a lot, especially at homecoming. Well, homecoming at this time is usually when everyone comes back from, you know, far off um, every year and to, you know, run into a stumble upon this documentary that's going to happen and with the um, descendant of the Lafargues because it all started with the Lafargues. Stewart said the Peabody School started with a grant from philanthropist George Peabody in 1895, creating the educational launching pad for Lafargue. Documentarian Ken Burns calls Lafargue's life a remarkable arc with his birth at the end of the Civil War and his growing up during Reconstruction. In, in history books uh, of the past and in popular culture like Birth of a Nation and Gone with the Wind as this incredibly bad period when it was, in fact, an attempt to begin to try to figure out what equality looked like for everybody. And I think Lafargue takes us on a journey through that attempt uh, to do that um, with, I think, pretty spectacular and, and persevering ways. <laughs> Burns said Peabody's existence today allows us to link the present with the past. So if a man who's going in with his wife and they're creating something that, that, that doesn't balance things out, doesn't make it an equal playing field, but at least gives children of color a, 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 an opportunity to achieve. And the fact that it's still around is just one of those connections. And the Peabody pride was certainly on display at the homecoming parade. I came all the way down from Texas, so always come out and support homecoming. You can't go wrong with Peabody homecoming. It's the best, man. The spirit, you know, the excitement, the enjoyment, the people. Josie and her mom both said they are grateful for the experience. Um, I feel so inspired by everyone I've been meeting here at Peabody, everyone who helped welcome us so much, and seeing the game and the, the pride and the joy at this school um, is really incredible. This was the first stop the crew made for the film, and Burns said they plan to return to central Louisiana. Joel Massey, ABC 31 News that works for you.